Hi, my name is Nathan Lopez, um, and I'll be talking about inspirational photographers, the ones that inspire, inspire me to do the craft that I do. Um, yeah, let's get started. So, Sam Balaban is an inspirational um, photographer that uh, photographs artists such as big names as Juice World that passed away. Um, ASAP Rocky, down to all the hip hop rappers you can think of. But um, I like Balaban because he keeps it very simple. He doesn't add too much uh, contrast or special effects as much. The only effects that he does add is um, he'll add like three extra arms to a artist that he's taking a picture of just to give it that like sci-fi effect, which is very different and unique. Um, so Balaan Ben has quickly gained recognition as a music photographer, whether he's shooting at concerts or one-on-one -on -one portraits, Sam always makes sure to add his own little unique touch. So, the next photographer is Hannah Sider. So I like Hannah Sider because she's more of like a vintage style person, which is like, gives it a 90s feel. And it's one of, this is one of my favorite photographers, just off the simple effects that she gets, that she uses, but it's more so the angle and the camera that she uses. So Hannah was born in Bowie, Africa. Later moved to New York where she currently resides to study communications as myself. Um, and, and while studying communication, she was able to tie together all of her passions, art, illustration, photography, and journalism. Um, Hannah puts her own spin on her photos and her ability to communicate and bond with the subjects create some incredible photos. Our favorite artists, including Wiz Khalifa, ASAP Rocky again, and many more New York rappers. This is another favorite of mine. Very inspirational to my work. Um, David Wang. So David Wang is an inspiring filmmaker and photographer. He attended Orange County School, which is uh, in California. Uh, arts at senior reside in Irvine, California. Um, he is not afraid to cross new boundaries, exploring new ways to express his creativity, ideas, and expressions through the medium of film and photography. Um, I kind of like his kind of swag, so he's, he's more like Hannah a little bit, but he's not afraid to be kind of free with the camera, and he, he ties back into fashion and hip hop, which are my favorite things to photograph, to photograph. Uh, uh, Kenneth Capello, so he is extraordinary. I like him because he adds different effects such as graphic designs to his, his photographs. So he'll take a picture, put a rip in the middle of it, like one side will be like a paper, a paper type of texture, and the other side will be the, the uh, picture of the artist. Um, Kenneth Capello was just a Houston-born Sandlot kid with a skateboard and a point-and-shoot camera. Um, to keep him occupied, a legend photographer, Kenneth Capella has been combining fashion photography with, with people and emotions for quite some time now, and it shows in his work. Many of his photos from editorial and commercial work, as I was saying, rather than concerts and events. So Capello is able to get more personal touch and feel which you are able to see. Let's move on. Gunner style, so this is also another extraordinary photographer. Um, he deals with a lot of artists and he does people's art cover. So he'll take a dope photo and make an art cover out of it. So he made an art cover for ASAP Rocky. Again, ASAP Rocky's like famous. He's like famous to these guys. Um, and also uh, Playboy Cardi. So if you can see Playboy Cardi's uh, 
his tape is on his tape his his mixtape is on there and he uh Gunner took the photo for his album cover and his album cover has probably have went gold. So it's pretty decent. Um he's an Atlanta born photographer and friend to many of rap stars. So he's a friend of many rap stars. Um we all look up Gunner Style as one of the industry's most well connected photographers. Taking candid photos of Play McCarty, Charles Gambino, Little Uzi Vert, ASAP Mob, and more. Styles started taking pictures. Initially, he focused on everyday life, shooting pictures of friends at schools, parties, parks, and concerts. So that's how he made the name for himself. I mean, his work speaks for itself. So, so yeah, so that's my last slide. Um, I picked these inspirational uh, photographers off the simple fact of my work. So let's go back to the beginning. So I threw a little bit of my photos on there to uh, basically explain what 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 was my main focus. So my main focus is definitely hip hop and fashion, which I love the most. So right right now, uh, in these photographies is mainly based on the fashion. But one of the one of the people one of the persons in there is. Uh, artist that's small time artist of my of my hometown and you know you gotta start small to go big you know you gotta start somewhere so I've been working with you know local artists and hip hop design I mean fashion designers of this new generation and new era so I feel like it's very unique in this new millennial era because you know you have a you have a bit of every taste from prior eras so you know everyone's wearing 90s 80s 70 things and it's just dope to see how someone expresses emotion and um their their value into what they wear and into what they rap about in hip-hop as well because in order to be a hip-hop artist you know you have to stand out and they stand out and you speak through words while they rap and also fashion so yeah um this is my presentation um Hope you guys enjoyed. See you until next.